So this is the 60 quart popper here. This is the kettle. And we have the burner down here. And the propane tank obviously is connected to the burner there. We also have the hinges, hinges that are in the plans. You can see the hinges there. And also on this side, you can see how the handle attaches to the hinge piece. And you can mount that on either side. It can be a left or a right-handed dump on there. This is the stopper. So this stops it from falling down lower. And then you can also tip it up and down that way. This is the 58 quart bin, which will catch the kettle corn when it comes out. And obviously a wooden paddle. And this is the frame. This is where the, how the frame is all welded up under here. Uh, you see the support. This is the, the burner support. This is where I have the hole drilled to mount that. There's the pipe clamp that holds that on. And these are all the pieces here. In the plans, there's no wheels, but you can add wheels to the bottom of it if you want. It's just really just to tip it and then you can wheel it around wherever you need it to go. And that's the overall view of the kettle corn. All right, here we have the propane set up for the kettle corn machine. This obviously turns the gas on and off from the propane tank. This here is a regulator, a 20 PSI regulator that comes with the burner when you purchase that. Then we have the hose connecting into the burner here. So the gas goes into the burner. And what we're gonna do now is we are going to light this. So we have our barbecue lighter here and we will uh, light it here on the burner and then turn the gas on. And you can see that it's a nice blue flame. If it's not blue and it's too yellow, there is an air adjustment here. You'll open this up for more air and that will make it a hotter flame. You can, you can hear it now, um, the jet burning and that's how you light it.